Today we're taking a look at these NFL matches, which are happening on Sunday, October 23, 2022, and giving you our match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe and push that notification bell to get notified, as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you, by becoming a member of the High Stakes Patreon, you will have access to our best team picks, total picks, parlay picks and much more. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting predictions that ends up costing you a lot of time and money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Cincinnati Bengals vs Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta has a legit chance to win the NFC South, given the problems the Tampa Bay Bucks have gone through this season. But they won't win this game against the surging Bengals. The big issue here is the Falcons' pass defense. They are very vulnerable to the pass, ranking 31st in the NFL in passing defense. Against the Bengals' high-flying passing game, which features Burrow and a trio of wideouts in Chase, T. Higgins, and Tyler Boyd, that weakness in the Atlanta secondary will be on full display. Atlanta should be able to move the ball on the ground, but too many quick strike touchdowns will do in the Falcons. Take the Bengals giving up the points. Our team pick is. Cincinnati minus 6 points. Both of these teams are riding a ton of momentum coming into this game. The Falcons upset the 49ers after an explosive outing by Mariota. The Bengals looked incredible against the Saints with Burrow and Chase finally waking up and showing us what they've got. I expect this game to be extremely competitive on both sides of the ball. The Bengals are missing some key defenders, and without Wilson, the Falcons' explosive offense has a chance to make key plays downfield. Burrow and Chase have been solid together and will find scoring opportunities often. Mariota knows what he is capable of, so he has more confidence in the passing game and will take advantage of the injured Cincinnati defense. With less pressure from the Bengals' defense, the Falcons will have more time to get the ball out and get themselves into scoring position. Take the over 47 points. Baltimore Ravens vs Cleveland Browns. I have been as critical of the Browns as anyone and backed the Patriots as one of my top plays last week, but this is not a bad spot to back the Browns as a touchdown dog. There's not a lot to like about the results on the field, but Cleveland is familiar with the Ravens, and after dropping three straight games, I expect the Browns to be competitive against a division rival they know well and have the talent to compete with. Although the Ravens have owned this series against the spread recently, the last three head-to-head -head meetings have all been decided by six points or less. Cleveland is coming off a double-digit home loss, and they gave covered the number in four of their last five games when in that situation. The Ravens are also just 1-5 at TS in their last six games against losing teams. It'll be a rough watch if you back Cleveland here because I do expect them to fall behind double digits at some point, but in the end, Cleveland keeps this game within six. Our team pick is. Cleveland Browns plus 6.5 points. Baltimore and Cleveland are struggling with injuries to some key players. With both of these teams being plagued by injuries, I don't expect this to be a high-scoring contest. Although Jackson is returning to the field, he is coming from a hip injury and limited practice, so he may not be 100%. With this being said, Jackson may stick to quick short routes to gain easy yards. Both teams are struggling with injuries to key players, so offense and defense may look different and be off to a slower start. Take the low. There are too many injures plaguing these teams for them to be at 100%. Take the under, 45.5 points. Carolina Panthers vs Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Buccaneers have been one of the best teams in the NFL over the last few seasons, and their ability to grab wins, especially against the lower-end competition, has been a staple of their success. This season though, struggles have caught up to this group, and after losing to the Steelers last week, concerns are mounting when it comes to what can be expected from this group. It isn't likely to help matters that Tampa Bay will be hitting the road for the second straight week, and with their own off-field issues that they'll be navigating, things could be more challenging than expected. Defensively, the Bucks shouldn't have any issues slowing down an injury-ridden Carolina team. They rank 7th in the league in total defense and against the pass, while boasting the league's 5th best scoring defense. 
while they might struggle to control the clock on the offensive end, they shouldn't have any trouble keeping Carolina's offense off the field in this one. Devin White, 48 tackles, 3 sacks, and Levant David, 47 tackles, 1 sack, continue to bolster one of the league's best linebacking cores, while if the pass rush can continue to be elite, the Panthers won't stand a chance at moving the ball. For the Panthers, it has been a season caught in turmoil for a team that is only a handful of years removed from being a contender. Not only have injuries derailed their plans at multiple positions, but the recent trade of their biggest star is only adding more questions as to the direction for this season. At 1-5, it appears that they are destined for one of the worst records in the league, which might not be a bad thing, given how much talent they need to be added to the roster. With three losses in a row and having not beaten the Bucks over the last two seasons, a win on Sunday would be a massive upset this season. On the offensive side of things, the Panthers have quite a few questions when it comes to how they'll be able to move the ball. Already last in the league in total yards per game, 29th in passing yards per game, and 26th in rushing yards per game, this group is thin at quarterback and running back. Beyond that, dealing away one of their top downfield threats only adds to concerns for Sunday. The backfield looks like it'll be led by Chubba Hubbard and Dante Foreman in this one, while all eyes will be on DJ Moore to show improvement at wide receiver. The number is big in this one for Tampa Bay to cover, but given the countless questions that Carolina continues to try to find answers for, there's little doubt that the Buccaneers will grab the win with ease in this one. The Panthers will be without their most dynamic offensive threat and onto their third-string quarterback, who is battling his own injuries. With Sunday quickly approaching, there's simply too little time to make the necessary adjustments to feel confident in moving the ball. For the Bucks, they continue to have one of the league's best defenses, and while they've struggled to run the ball, this is a perfect matchup for them to change that tune. Additionally, according to Covers.com, the Panthers are 1-8 at TS in their last 9 games in October, and are 1-9 at TS in their last 10 games, following an ATS loss. When it comes to facing each other, Tampa Bay is also 4-0 ATS in the last four meetings. Our team pick is. Bucks, minus 12.5. The Bucks rank 22nd in total offense, averaging 332 yards per game and 20.2 points per game. The Tampa defense ranks 7th and is giving up an average of 193 yards per game and 17 points per game. The Bucks have dealt with significant injuries on the offensive side of the ball to their offensive line and receiving corporation, but the offense hasn't been consistent even when healthy. Tampa has also put two starting offensive linemen on injured reserve in the last month, center Ryan Jensen and tackle Josh Wells. Defensively, the Bucks' stats look good, but the Chiefs scored on nearly every possession against this unit, and Pittsburgh moved the ball with a backup quarterback on Tampa as well. Tampa Bay's defense has been inconsistent at times during the season, but the front seven is still very strong with David and White at linebacker, and the defensive line led by Vita V is solid as well. The Bucks should be able to limit McCaffrey and also pressure Carolina's quarterbacks. Tampa Bay has injuries to multiple starters along their offensive line, the Bucks aren't likely going to be stretching the field much against a Panther defense that has been decent this year despite being on the field a lot. Brady is 45, and Tampa Bay won't want to put him at risk if the Bucks build a double-digit lead, as is likely. Tampa Bay has been very conservative offensively with leads, as we saw in the Atlanta team, and the Bucks will likely focus on running the ball once they get ahead in this game. Take the under. 40.5 points.